Metro Transit Police are investigating a disturbing incident tonight that began inside the Rhode Island Avenue Metro Station and then continued out into the bus stop area. Tonight, they're searching for a man accused of making racially insensitive remarks to passengers and bashing some of them with a rock while trying to take their car keys. News 4's Jackie Benson has the details. This is an image of the man accused of using a rock seen in his right hand to terrorize people at the Rhode Island Avenue Metro Station in Northeast D.C. around 7.30 Sunday evening. The first victim said he was coming down the escalator when the man approached another rider, screaming profanity and demanding car keys. The victim says he pulled out his phone to record and the suspect then turned on him, demanding his keys, and when he refused, bashed him in the head with a rock. The police report says the man then headed toward a nearby footbridge and began hitting a bicyclist with his hands, yelling, quote, shoot me, what are you going to do, shoot me, and this is why I hate you white people. A victim says the man menaced others before running away. A gentleman actually reached out to me, said he had an incident where, uh, I think it was Rhode Island Station. Metro General Manager Randy Clark says he received and read an email from the victim hit with the rock who claims it took 25 minutes for Metro Transit officers to arrive. The transit system has enhanced security with armed special police officers in addition to Metro Transit Police. The good thing is we had a special police officer there within a minute, I think it was one or two minutes. So we look at the special police officers as part of our overall security staffing, so they were there. Obviously that's a safe situation. Transit police then would, would come to do a report. Riders at the station say news of the crime is distressing, but several also told us that Metro's security enhancements leave them feeling safer overall. The new director got the recipe for curbing crime on Metro, and I feel a lot safer on Metro. Everything's good now. Metro detectives are hoping to hear from anyone else who may have had a disturbing encounter with this man. There's a $1,000 reward for information leading to his arrest. In Northeast Washington, Jackie Benson, News 4.